have nothing illegal in that vehicle. I have nothing illegal in that vehicle. Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. It's showtime, folks. It's showtime. Here's Johnny. In today's video, we're going to be visiting LJ's World. That's the title of his channel. It's a fantasy world filled with victimhood and corrupt cops. The officer just pulled me over for no reason. Said I got a seatbelt on. I ain't have my seatbelt on. So he wanna he wanna sit there and say I ain't have no seatbelt. For no reason, but I got my seatbelt on the whole time. You'll never believe it, but LJ titled this video, Crooked Cop Thought They Had One, Lying About My Seatbelt. Guess what? He ran my name. He see, oh, I got a record. So he want a motherfucking pull a nigga over for no reason. No reason at all. He got my license. He said he had my seatbelt on. Hey, what's your name and badge number? Me? Yeah, what's your name and badge number? Sergeant Wells. How you doing, Sergeant? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm just being, I'm just recording for your safety and mine. No, but your officer just... For yourself, but that's fine. But you're allowed to do that. Your officer uh, pulled me over for no reason. He lied and said I didn't have my seatbelt on. Okay. My window's been rolled down the whole time. I got well, legal tent. this, sir. If, if he issues you a citation, you have the right to go to court. That's f Sergeant just nailed the majority of all car stops to court. The side of the road is not the place to litigate the ticket. Cops should just keep repeating this and not spend, sometimes they spend up to an hour justifying their stop. If, if he issues you a citation, you have the right to go to court. That's fine, but I'm letting you I'm know as a supervisor you know. that, you know, this ain't my first rodeo. He know that. He has been following me for the longest. Okay, well, you can talk to these other officers, too. Uh, also, what's your uh, name and badge number? What's my name and badge yeah. number? Deputy Smith. How you doing, Deputy Smith? Uh, I'm How trying to figure you? out what was the legitimate. You weren't the one who pulled me over, but. No, I just showed up. I are you the supervisor up. also? I or? am not a supervisor. Right. They pulled me over for no reason. He said no seatbelt. He felt like. I know he probably ran my name. All right, just sit tight, okay? Hey, officer. I just want to congratulate you on being, uh, you took an oath to uphold that law, and guess what? Sir, do me a favor, step on the car. For what, sir? For what step reasons? Because I'm asking you to step on the car. For what reasons do I got to step out the car? Because I'm asking you to. Is there a reason I should Thank step out the yeah, car? That's, that's uh, Supreme Court case. It's a fair question. Why does LJ have to exit the car? Pennsylvania versus Mims is the Supreme Court case that says if an officer pulls you over, has a legitimate reason to stop your vehicle, he is allowed to order you out of that vehicle for any reason that he wants to. Uh, basically, what the court said is that if you are driving a vehicle and you are pulled over by the police, you are already detained. Uh, therefore, if an officer asks you to get out of the car, it does not change your detention. You are still detained. The officer doesn't necessarily need a specific reason to pull you out of the car. They don't need probable cause to pull you out of a car. You don't need to be found guilty or the officer does not believe that you have to believe you're guilty of another crime other than a traffic offense. In order to get you out of the car, the officer does not need reasonable, articulable suspicion. Is there a reason that I should be stepping out of the car? Look, our lesson. The you're making this bigger than you It ain't bigger. I'm taking off my seatbelt. Okay, go ahead. Is there a reason I should be stepping out of the car, sir? Can you please tell me? Just explain the case law to me. But why do I have to step out my vehicle? You're going to go to jail. All right, man. All right. Down there. You searching me? I do not consent to any searches or seizures. Auditors always default to their script because they really don't know the law. And that goes for the Guttermans and the Sean Reyes and, and the rest of them. This officer is not searching the pockets of LJ. He's patting his outer clothing down for weapons, per another Supreme Court case, Terry versus Ohio. I have not done nothing. You have lied and said I did not have my seatbelt on. 
So I do not consent to any searches or seizures. All right, go over there. Hey, just do me a favor, bro. Hey. Violation of my uh, Fourth Amendment rights. Besides this, yeah. it was going good till y'all violated my rights. Well, I'm just backing up. I just got here, right? I can't speak. For well, I don't blame you. I don't, you ain't really been uh, a hole or nothing, but he the one that should be not be an officer about the law no more. I am a law-abiding citizen. And he thought he uh, was, he probably ran my name. He been following me the whole way down military trail. Was not speeding. I had my seatbelt on. He pulled me over and lied deliberately. He wouldn't even tell me initially why he pulled me over. Stepped me out of the car. The sergeant right there didn't even tell him why. He ain't even got no reason. Well, you know, Supreme Court says Pennsylvania versus Mims. You won't get out of the car if we ask. That's not that's not accurate, sir. All right, we'll research Pennsylvania versus Mims. All right, U.S. Supreme Court states that your mere inconvenience of you being out of the vehicle since you're already detained during the traffic stop. All right. What's the public call the search of my vehicle? Ask him. He's the one that pulled you over. LJ asked a legitimate question, and since we can't ask the officer why he was searching LJ's car, we're just going to have to wait for LJ to post part two of this video. I hate to leave you hanging. Well, we cleared up a few issues today. MIMS allows officers to have drivers exit their vehicles if stopped for any traffic violation. And this is minus probable cause or even a reasonable articulable suspicion. Number two, a pat down on the outer clothing is not a search. Auditors always say they're getting searched, and, but it's merely a safety check for weapons. I'd like to apologize for getting behind in my comments, but I, I've been on the road attending the commissioning of the USS John Canley in San Diego. Sergeant Major Canley was my gunny in Vietnam, and I personally witnessed his valor, which resulted in the Medal of Honor. The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, subscribe. doesn't cost you anything, and we don't ask for personal information. Semper Fidelis.